Hello, my name is David Brody, and I'm the author of a book called Morning in Celebration. I've often asked myself the question, can a gay man be orthodox and live as a gay man? After all, being gay is known as an abomination in the Torah. But, like most other things in the Torah, nothing is black and white. Rabbi Hillel said, do not do unto others what you would not have them do to yourself. So if straight people can put themselves in my shoes, they probably would realize that they can be orthodox if they were gay. The other question to ask is, does the perfect Jew exist? There is nobody who is without imperfection. Every Jew has some fault. Not that I'm saying being gay is a fault, because as far as I'm concerned, I'm created as a gay man in the image of God as well. Another consideration is the nature of Torah interpretation. I've heard a definition of a Talmudist as a man or a woman who can prove that, prove that black is white and that white is black in the next few minutes. In my experience, I at one point gave up orthodoxy in order to find a life partner. But when I managed to do that, I was constantly aware of not following the orthodox rules. And that awareness turned into discomfort. So I was lucky enough to be blessed with somebody who would tolerate orthodoxy, and I returned to it. For me, being orthodox is a need for identity. It's part of my heritage. It requires a great deal of self-discipline, but to me, the, re the rewards are worth it. And one of those rewards is a sense of community with the people who share the same ideals as I do. It's not very easy for a gay man, in most cases, to find a community which is open and welcoming. I'm very fortunate in having done so at my synagogue, Shah Shemayim. I also find the Jewish traditions are intrinsically rich in themselves. They're part of what was handed down to me, and just because I can't hand them on to children doesn't mean I should give them up. The problem comes in finding like-minded gay Jews. And that is for every one of us to try and solve ourselves.